Who needs to buy a kit when you can build one yourself? Why don't you guys stay tuned and find out what we got. All right, well, welcome back. So, yes, you can see all the parts behind me and we're gonna tell you guys what we're building. But uh, I had this idea that I wanted to build another Arma. Uh, I mean, I've got an Outcast 6S for the wife. Um, I've got a crate, a Creighton XL, you know, I, I call it the Kraken. And then, uh, of course, I have my on-road one. I have the, uh, the Felony. And then, oh, I just recently got the uh, Outcast 4S. So I'm sitting there thinking, oh, no, you know what? I just forgot about another one. I've also got a Big Rock. So I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, what don't I have? I don't have an Arma Talon. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at what we're going to do? All right, so this and the snap of my fingers. No, that's not going to happen. You know why? Because I've got to build it. So, what I have done is I decided that we're going to build the ultimate Arma Talon. So, I don't have a roller to work with, and I found Jenny's RC that had all the kind of basic parts I needed for less than it would have been to buy the kit, right? So, I got their plastics kit here. Got me a set of A-arms. I got me the the hubs for the front and the rear. You know, you gotta have a place to mount your motor, so I got the motor mount kit. Got me a wing. Look at that, shocks. There's steering linkage. I even got a set of the drive shafts, even though, uh, you know, all of the, uh, you know, the, the center, center drive line and all that, because I need the end pieces. It was cheaper getting this from Jenny's RC than it was to just buy those pieces. Got the, you made it official, got the screw kit. And then I got, if you guys can see in the package, I've got both the front and the rear. Here's the rear. Here's the rear. So I got the rear differential housings and everything. And then I've got the center. Now this is, these are the EXB style. So we're gonna be putting that bad boy in, but what are we gonna do with it? We're gonna throw a crap load of M2C racing parts at it with a dash of Basher Queen. So I bought, so I got the complete beefcake kit for it, which is pretty much, pretty much all of this right here. So what that comes with is the chassis, right? Comes with, the shock towers, Ackerman bar, comes with the emulsion shocks, and then you get, you know, some extra pieces with it. Comes, uh, that didn't come with it. So it comes with the, uh, the hinge pin kit, comes with the insertion tool, comes with these bad boys, and those right there go into your hub, so we're gonna replace those. And it comes with your, uh, your front and your rear chassis braces. We've also got a set of droop screws. We've got some of the 17 millimeter, 17 millimeter 5, 5, plus 5 millimeter hex. So we got some of those we're going to put on that bad boy. We've got this bad boy right here, and that is the rear shock tower brace. Looks like I've actually got two. I think this kit goes to another project. We got some M2C racing. We got the uh, the input cups. We got a, a complete set of the output cups. We've got the CVD correction. These are the CVD out drives from M2C. These are the rear outdrive dog bones and then we've got the centerline dog bones from m2c and of course we're going to throw 
one of the 25 spine Tekin, uh, the Tekin uh, wide body 25 spine horns on it. And then we're going to throw some Basher Queen stuff at it. So I picked up one of these kits so we can get the carbon fiber uh, top plate and the carbon fiber steering links there. We've got, we got our servo saver kit. We got the steering servo mount. We also picked up her, uh, for the talon, the, uh, the chassis brace. And we got the ESC mount for the talon. Now, this is also the same one that we can put on uh, the rest of our eighth scales, like the Creighton or the Outcast. I just put this on my wife's Outcast, so we got that. We are going to be mounting the Max 6 in it. That up on top is the uh, comparable motor. That's a 2250 kV motor. Um, I originally was going to put that in the Creighton XL, but I went ahead and upped the one in the Creighton XL to the 1650 kV. So this bad boy became available. So we're gonna be putting in that 2250 into this Talon. And then you can see the servo over here. I've got an extra, I'm not using this one anymore. So we're gonna start off with this Power Javi 729 MBL in this for steering. And uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll probably upgrade that here too in the future. And you can't, you can't make a basher without some 3D RC parts. So I've got, you can see these nice red wing mounts right here. And then we've got his bumper spring for the Arma Talon. So kind of giving away what the color, color scheme is going to be for this bad boy exterior. It's going to be red and uh, possibly some white and some blue. You know, because we are, we, we do live in America. So, let me go ahead and get you guys turned back around. So there you go. That was the surprise. That's the next next RC that we got going on. Um, I still have a Castle electrical, uh, you know, motor and ESC system that we're going to be uh, disclosing what that's going to go into here in the future. We've also got some other upgrades coming to uh, the Felony. We've got some upgrades that we picked up from uh, M2C Racing for the Outcast 4S. So you got that coming. And uh, we've also got some stuff coming for the crawlers that we've uh, we've got. We got some extra upgrade parts for that. And also the 24 scale stuff's getting a, a huge upgrade. So I hope you guys like this content. This is going to be the part one of this episode. Stay tuned for part two. And then uh, we're going to be bashing uh, some M2C racing uh, RCs here soon with a, with a dash of Basher Queen. So I hope you guys liked and enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and bash that bell. I am Stitch, SK Hobbies AZ, and I'm out.